I first met you, I wasn't really sure. Nick had broken my heart, and I just took you home to make me feel better. <laughs> to make me feel wanted. The thing is, you see, I knew that what I had with Nick was the real thing. And when he left me, I felt as if my heart had flown a thousand miles away. I was never coming back. So, here you are, and I thought, mm -hmm, hold your horses, love. Let's, let's just spend a night together. Just have a bit of fun. Make ourselves feel good. And we did. I never expected to see you again. I certainly didn't expect you to call. But then you did. The next day. <laughs> and I thought, mm, good on you, love. There's not many who do that. So. Why not go out on another date with you? I mean, they weren't exactly queuing up now, were they? Then you started to sweep me off my feet by saying all the things to me that I thought Nick would say. You hadn't quite learnt the rules of playing it cool, I don't think. Rules that I knew only too well, let me tell you. Then the next night, you asked me out again. I said, no, no way, because you seem to be turning into my boyfriend. I felt a bit mean, actually, because you sounded so hurt. I mean, I didn't mean to be mean. I liked you. But after what Nick had put me through, well, you have to be a bit careful, don't you? I went out with my mates that night, and I didn't think about you. Well, I did a bit, but not really. I flirted with many men. Many, many men. But it's also bloody exhausting, isn't it? The next night, she came round, and in the morning, you said you wanted to stay in my house all day after I'd gone to work. So that you could be there when I came home, apparently. <laughs> to rifle through my bloody knickers, more like. Somewhere inside, though, Despite myself, you sort of felt right to stay. I still bloody kick you out, though. <laughs> Next time you called, I asked you if you wanted to come out with my friends. Bit quick to meet the mates, maybe, but, well, you were being so nice. My friends liked you, <laughs> even though you danced very oddly. We got very drunk and then you took me home. I like that, you taking me home. We sat on the sofa and held hands. And then you told me you weren't going anywhere. You told me you wanted me to feel safe. I wanted to feel safe. When I woke up, you told me you'd missed me while I was asleep. <laughs> really? I played darts with Maureen that night, and I had to tell her I sort of liked you, cos I really sort of did. And then I wanted to see you, so I called you, and you came to get me. Do you know how nice that feels? Wanting someone I knew I could have. Somebody who was mine. I loved you for letting me like you. I loved you for coming to get me. I loved you for taking me home. <laughs> then, when you woke up, you had these bloody love hearts popping out of your eyes. 
I was out of that bed so fast, I can tell you. <laughs> that night, he told me he had five days holiday to take. Why don't we go on holiday, he said. I'll tell you why not, you bloody lunatic, because we hardly know each other. I wanted to. I wanted to go with you. But I'd been on a long weekend with Nick. And look where that got me. I missed you all day on Sunday. And then, at 7.30, you called me and took me for a drink with your friends. Very odd, actually. Talked about God knows what. And I wondered if I could be friends with people half my age. Quite frankly, I wondered if I wanted to be. Oh, yeah. So. And then I looked across the table at you, and you know something? You looked OK. I walked home with you, wondering. You took me in your arms, and we danced nervously on your new fleur-de-lis carpet. <laughs> you held my head in your hands. And then you took me to bed, and you told me that you wanted me to be there. And suddenly, I knew I wanted to be with you. When we woke up in your single bed, I said I hadn't slept. You held my face and told me not to worry. We'd get used to it. I wrapped my arms round you and held my kiss against your forehead. And you asked me to go on holiday again. You wanted it so much, you'd asked me twice. So, I said I'd come. Well, I felt safe. You weren't going anywhere. On Friday, you took me dancing. Oh, I loved it. It was fun. We laughed and wandered home in lust. <laughs> you told me you couldn't hold me tight enough. You said you'd never let me go. <laughs> when we woke up, we made love. And it felt different. I told you it felt different, and you agreed. Then you pause for a moment. Jesus Christ. You were going to tell me you loved me. And then you said, I could never, ever love you.